are the narcissism channels that you're watching stirring up anger? Hi, I'm Nanette. Welcome back to Narcissism Exposed. So I recently received a very long comment from a viewer and she shared some really significant points and some of these points I covered in a video that I did, What You Feed Will Grow. And I wanted to read her comments and I did get her permission for this, so here we go. She starts out by saying, I just wanted to tell you that you are literally an answer to my prayer to God. I have been delving into the topic of narcissism because it has been enmeshed in my life for a long time without me knowing it. And you know, here's the thing about that. Learning about the MO of the narcissist, let's say maybe it was a friend or as I call them frenemies, or maybe it was a partner, somebody you dated, and you're learning about the MO and you're, you're thinking, wow, you know, that was my mother or that was my father or that was a sibling or some relative. There were some family dynamics that were centered on, on narcissism. So you get this awakening and you start to get very sharp and clear about the different methods that the narcissist uses and you begin, it begins to unravel all the different aspects of people that you've known within your timeline. And she goes on to say, I found myself watching many channels about it. And, you know, I spoke to somebody uh, last week and you know, it's normal and it, it's helpful to shop around different channels, you know, kind of hit up this channel, hit up that channel. Uh, but eventually you figure out the two or three or however many, maybe half a dozen channels that you like to tune into here and there because it kind of rounds out your education. But I spoke to somebody last week who is subscribed to no less than 23 channels and you know what I have to say about this is if you don't end up honing down which channels are actually feeding you what you want you can end up being more confused than ever so yeah 23 channels subscribe to and faithfully following that's a lot of material now here's some more of her comments in the beginning of me watching all these videos it was very validating and i believe that god used it as a tool to help me from the deceptive thinking i've been involved with since i was young but as i went on i obsessively watched narcissistic videos and found myself becoming angry over things I had already forgiven. And see, that's a very, very good point right there to realize that you were watching copious amounts of material that, you know, involved bulk times of your day and to realize you were just becoming obsessive in obtaining all this knowledge and information about narcissists and before you know it, like what, what this person said is that she began to feel angry over things that she had already forgiven her narcissist for. Now let's read on. I was talking to God and told him that I wish there was a channel about this from a Christian perspective. I found your channel very recently. When I watch your videos, I do not find myself getting angry about past events, but rather experiencing a serene sense that what I went through was real and that God is bigger and I can move past it. See, here's the thing. I love that point that she made is that Yes, you know, watching these videos, you get validated. Yes, that's what happened to me. That's what the narcissist did. And then you want to be able to begin your healing journey. You, the whole point of watching these, this content on narcissism is so that you can recognize what was happening in your life and then you can heal and move forward. And that is such a fantastic point. Like I've said before, I have read other people's comments on other channels and 
they're saying things like, yes, I was in a, I was in a relationship three years ago with a narcissist and it was horrendous and he did this, this, and this to me, or I was in a relationship 10 years ago with this woman and she did this and that. She took this away from me and I had a restaurant business and she stole my idea. She kicked me out of my house and tw what name your years, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. Why aren't you, haven't you moved past? See, you don't want to be in what I call the hamster wheel of, you know, l ever learning about narcissism and what happened to you, but never healing and getting past it and moving forward. And there's more to her comment. And she says, also the video about God's no contact rule that you made was huge for me. God is the originator of the no contact rule. You must understand that as much as many channels will cover that because it is an important part of your healing journey. However, God's word, which was written over 3,500 years ago, God's word includes the no contact rule. That's right. And you know why he does that? Because God knows how evil and toxic these narcissists are. He knows how they will attack the empath, the good person, the Christian, and to try to destroy you. And here's what God's word says about that in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 11 and 12. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather expose and reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. You understand that all the dirty deeds and all the secret things that the narcissist has been doing behind your back in the back end, these are all fruitless works for them. They get no spiritual rewards at all all for doing what they do. They're doing the bidding of the devil. They're demonically influenced and listening to those voices in their ears to do you harm. God's word calls their works fruitless. Want more proof of God's no contact rule? We're going to go to 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 2 to 5 where God's word describes the very characteristics of that dirty narcissist and the deeds that they do that are in secret and that are heinous. And then at the end of these verses, God gives a three word, very simple command. So here it is. For men will be lovers of self, lovers of money, boastful, arrogant, revilers, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, unloving, irreconcilable, malicious gossipers, without self-control, brutal, haters of good, treacherous, reckless, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, holding to a form of godliness, although they have denied its power. Avoid such people. There's the no contact rule again. God's word is telling you for your protection, for your well-being to avoid these evil, toxic people like the narcissist. You must understand that in order for you to be able to get on with your life, to get your onto your healing journey and back on your path of truth and righteousness, you must detach and avoid such people. And then there's one more verse that I want to read to you. And that's in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. And it says, do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. The narcissist is an unbeliever. You must understand that. And I don't care if he or she mouths out, I love God. Oh, I'm a Christian. You know what? Anybody can say those words, but their actions, the narcissist's actions belie them because they are into deceiving you and they want to, they'll tell you anything that you want to hear. That's right. So moving on for what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness and unrighteousness, none. And what communion has light with darkness, 
zero. That has no communion with light. Light cannot cohabitate comfortably and wonderfully uh, and flourishingly with darkness. That's, that's the turmoil you've been experiencing with that narcissist. No matter how much light you're trying to shine on them, right? No matter how much goodness you're trying to give them, understanding and patience and kindness, forget about it, okay? That just makes the narcissist even more angry and disdainful of you and contemptible towards you. That's right, because they hate the light that's in you. You've got, if you're born again Christian, you've got God and Christ in you. That's right. And if they're listening to demonic voices, the devil hates the Christian. The devil hates God. So you need to understand that this is on a spiritual level. And she continues her comment. I told you it was a long comment. I was feeling guilty about going no contact because I thought it might be unbiblical and so while I was doing it, I was sort of uneasy in my mind. Why? So many of us have been taught, you know, you must keep forgiving them. Oh, turn the other cheek. Oh, you know, you must you know, be understanding of them. You know what? God's word says avoid such people. That's right. And she goes on to say, also the other channels that I was watching say a lot of stuff that I don't agree with, including the new age practices and beliefs. I want to avoid these because I used to be enmeshed with them and know now that they go against the will of God. Look, many, there are many genres of narcissism channels. There's many different types. You know, there's somewhere, you know, I call it kind of the, the trash mouth, if you will, where it's like, you know, just going off on the, the narcissist and how, you know, this and that, and it's kind of like a bashing session, you know, and then there's others that strictly psychology and, you know, uh, explaining it through, through man-made terms and so on. And then there's others like the new age and so on and so forth. And so you have to pick Look, if you, this is a Christian based channel, so you know what you're getting right off the bat. And you need to pick and choose what's right for you, what you want. So let's say what you want and need in your life. Not everybody wants the Christian perspective. I totally understand that. That's your freedom of will to choose what belief system you want. However, most of you that are on my channel, right, you believe in God and Jesus Christ and you, you believe the Bible too. I want to tell you this based on this, this whole thing about choosing your genre, right? You can, you can pick whatever type of channel you want to follow. I also have a Facebook page and I have had a, at least half a dozen commenters from viewers that are telling me, Nanette, I love your, your videos. They're so highly informative and you're very explicit and clear on how you communicate. But I really want you to leave the Bible out of this. You know, don't quote scripture and just, just keep on doing that without the Bible. And it's like, I, I scratch my head going, really? Um, so if that's how you want to do something, you can start your own channel. It'd be like this. I think of these channels as this is my home. I'm inviting you into my home. And, you know, we, we have a loving relationship and it's a loving, respectful, kind relationship. And if you don't like what I'm serving you, you're free to go somewhere else to somebody else's channel or home, right? So you would never go into someone's home and go, you know what? I don't like that couch. You need to get rid of it. And, you know, that dining room table needs to be updated. And, you know, I don't really like the paint on your walls. I think it needs to be more muted. You would not do that. So to go into a channel and start, you know, dictating how they need to make, make changes in it is, is kind of silly. Okay, now we're on the last part of her comment. So, in summary, thank you for using biblical values and thought processes in making your videos. It has been a huge blessing to me. And that, that is the point I'm making with choosing the right channels with the right video content that is, you should be able to walk away from 
any video saying, wow, that really lent itself to my healing journey. Not just like, oh, now I know even more about the narcissist, but that you go, hey, wow, so now I have a greater understanding how I can heal myself and move forward with my life. Because I don't think you want to be watching channels for three, five years, uh, 10 years, 20. I don't think you want to do that. You know, you want to be able to move on with your valuable life and you want to be able to find someone just like you to have a friendship or a partnership with or start a business with. You want that same type of person and you deserve that person. And moving forward, you are not going to settle for anything less. So I have five things I want you to evaluate when choosing which videos to watch that are not going to dredge up anger and pain and thoughts of your suffering, but is going to lend itself to your healing. And the first one is you're going to watch videos that don't directly or indirectly go against Holy Scripture, God's Word. Now, what do I mean about that? So let's say you read a topic, a title of a video, and it has in this in it. Let's, let me show you how to get revenge on the narcissist. Boom, right there you know, that's not gonna be a video for you because you're not looking to do revenge. You don't wanna become like the narcissist. You don't wanna wrestle with the pig, right? Here's another one. Start your own smear campaign against the narc. Again, smear campaigns are for the narc. That's, that's their thing that they do. We don't roll like that. Then the other one, do this and bring down the narc. Again, violence and vengeance, those are not our game at all. Here's the last one. Do this to the narc's new supply. Well, you know what, first of all, you should be so well on your way, on your healing journey and doing you, rebuilding you, you're not even having any thoughts about the new supply. That should not even be anywhere in your mental radar at all about his or her new supply, other than if you wanna pray for him or her, you know, from afar right okay the next one is avoid any videos that are going to dredge up ill feelings again such as what i said the anger resentment bitterness right some of these channels do this by elevating the narcissist to some mystical superpower and inadvertently deflating the victim to some really low place like calling saying oh get out of the harem garage and you know and some other vulnerable areas that you may have found yourself in and that can make you walk away from those videos feeling really full of shame and resentment and and anger too so yeah we know from god's word that for us who are born again christians right God's word says that greater is the Christ in you than the devil spirits that are in that narcissist. So we're not going to elevate any narcissist to superhuman power because we know that they're demonically driven and their devil spirits are not greater than the Holy Spirit in us. So remember that one. And every time these videos affect you like that, you know what? The, it, it rips the scab off your wound and then you have to start all over again and that's why so many people are are recovering victims for for years for sometimes decades because getting back into the that arena of ruminating and remembering what what the narcissist did to you it keeps ripping that scab off time and time again and then you have to get back onto the healing journey and the more times this happens the slower the healing process number three if watching a video out on some channel gets you to start doubting yourself such as 
Oh, how could I have been so fooled? Oh, why did I stay so long? Oh, how could I have let him or her chisel away at my boundaries? How did I do this? It gets you to doubt yourself and the things that happened to you. And I don't want you to go back to that place. I understand that you need to feel it to heal it, but how many years do you need to feel it again and again and again? You don't and you shouldn't and I don't want you to go there. I want, like for me, every video that I do, I want you to walk away go, wow, you know, the scriptures that Nanette shared really, really helped me. I, I feel hope. I feel joy. I feel more peace in my heart. That's what God's word does. It touches the very depths of your soul, your heart, your spirit, and it starts that healing process. The fourth thing I want you to watch out for when you watch a video on some channel is does it get you back into ruminating day and night about the narcissist and then dredge, dredges feelings of anxiety, depression, fear, and you know, we don't want those feelings. We want to generate peace, love, joy. That's what we want. We want to feed our heart and mind good food to rebuild ourselves, not things that are going to get us back into that dark memory that was our time with the narcissist. And the fifth thing I want you to watch out for is when you watch one of the videos on the channels and you 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 start to all, all of a sudden you're thinking about who's the narc with now? Who are they with? What are they doing? Are they going to hoover me? You know, you're thinking, oh my goodness, is, is the new supply going to reach out to me? Should I reach out to the new supply? Or, you know, what's he doing, the narc? Is he happy? Is he unhappy? If you walk away from a video and you're, that's where your head starts going, that's not a good video for you. That kind of content is only going to get you to start ruminating and thinking about the narcissist, who they're with, what they're doing. What it, did they devalue the new supply yet? That's, that's not profitable for your healing. So just recapping this message. When you look at a video, you want it to provide healing factors to your life and to your journey. If you find yourself walking away from a video and it has incited feelings of pain and depression and confusion, then you have to ask yourself, well, you know what? Why? Why do I want to watch that? You need to get to a place where you will only feed yourself something that will lend itself to your healing journey. And I want you to be very selective of what you pour into yourself. That is extremely important. And you know what? God's word is a great place to find healing. It is amazing, filled with encouragement, hope, and enlightenment. And in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, it says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. How many times have you said to yourself, if only I could find some rest from this turmoil, from this confusion, from all this chaos? God's word says, come to me and I will give you rest. And in Psalm 147 verse 3, it says, he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. We talked about ripping the scab off every time we, we watch a video that ignites and incites feelings of our time with the narcissist. We want those wounds bound up and healing. And God's word provides that for you. Now look, in God's word, there's so many things that are available that will provide healing factors to you. And I'm going to read these off to you. So God's word will validate you, instruct you, encourage you, protect you, satisfy you, heal you, strengthen you, make you wise, guide you, build you up, 
give you rest, bring you true joy, and bring you true peace. Isn't that fantastic? And that's what we all want. We want to be just done and removed and detached from all of that memory of the heinous time with the narcissist and well on our way to our healing journey so that we can live out our destiny, our true destiny on our path of righteousness and truth. So be careful what you feed yourself on your healing journey. If you're not careful, it will impede your progress. So I want you to leave your comments down below, share with me any scriptures you have and any prayer requests and know that I love you and I think about you each and every day. Now, if you found this helpful, do hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, do hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I put out a video. And until next time, walk in peace and be blessed in your hearts.